everybody, my name is Miss Oppie, and welcome to Keep in Mind. This game is supposed to be very serious, so... Jonas? Honey, are you awake? I know you aren't sleeping. Why won't you talk to me? Is it something I've done? Each night you drink until you can't speak. And the morning comes and you just forget everything, including me. Every night we fight to keep a conversation going. Every night I fight to keep you conscious. If we just talked about it, we could be happy again. I feel so far from you. Wow, this, uh, this sounds very dark already. Ugh. Huh? Where am- where am I? I think this is- this looks like my home, but that's impossible. Am I- okay. Apparently I don't need a mouse for this. Get out of here, mouse. Go to the top. Yeah, go to the- no, don't do that. You're gonna fuck up my recording. I need to get out of here. Something has gone very wrong. Okay, arrow keys to control. This is a game maker game. This took a turn. Chill 682! We're not in containment breach yet! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can it really be our Jonas? Come here, let me get a good look at you. It has been such a long time. Whoa, whoa. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm glad you've come to visit us again. I know it must be hard to find the time in your busy, pathetic life. Okay, asshole. That blank look on your face. Don't tell me you've forgotten again. How sad. You don't even recognize me. How does anyone forget? Well, dear Jonas, if you can't figure it out, you'll be doomed to wander here forever. Shit, this looks like hell already, so I'm already at home. Making the same, the same mistake over and over. Ha, ha, ha. Not killing myself? You're prob you pr you'll probably never escape, you know. You might as well not even try. Honestly, wasn't planning on it. But if you're so keen to leave, curious puppet, I'll give you a hint. Please do. Look around. Isn't this all just a bit familiar? I encourage you to give all the voices here a good listen. They are more familiar than you think. Okay. Where am I going? Ah, free roam kind of thing. That's cool. Ah! Wait, what? What the fuck? I haven't slept in three days. I've, I've checked the back door three times. There, did you see that? Quickly, close your eyes. He can't see you if you can't see him. Me. Wow, this place is really big. Disgusting. What an insignificant creature. Do you realize your own disgusting insignificance? Yes, yes I do, thank you. Disgusting creatures deserve the mud. So keep squirming in the mud, little insect. Where's the mud at, then? Oh, are you the mud? I want to live inside you. Like a tapeworm. You could pull, I'd never leave you. Okay. That's a little bit disturbing. Just just the just the tiniest, idiest, bittiest bit. What's over here? Why are you in the water? Why are you spraying salt into the water? I'm so tired. <laughs> I have never been this tired. Okay, chill, 096. Again, we're not playing containment breach. Why are there so many containment breach sounds? I'm so empty. I have never been this empty. Maybe this river can carry me far away. Me too. So let's analyze Jonas here for a little bit. Jonas appears to be someone who has a drinking problem. We've analyzed. We don't know why he has a drinking problem, but he does. I retched up my insides in place of all the things I never said. 
Ew. All I can taste is blood. All I ever taste is blood. Blood isn't so bad. I'd imagine it's not, considering you need it to live. But clearly he has a drinking problem, and it's likely because of something that's happened to him. Could be from post-traumatic stress disorder, maybe it's from... I'm, I'm thinking it's just like a bad event that happened to him that made him this way. I've counted the grass blades in this field. Every single one. There's a specific quantity for everything. An ideal. Slav, is that you? This tree, for example. The, the tree. This tree has ten apples. Ten apples only. No more than ten apples, absolutely. Ten, 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 ten. I hate to break this to you, buddy, but there are no apples on that tree. Oh god. No, no. They'll see the blood. They'll know it was me. I can't hide. The trail follows me everywhere. His blood follows me everywhere. So I'm assuming what's happening here is... Doors locked, doors locked, doors locked, doors locked. No, no, no. I didn't mean to go. I didn't mean to leave. It was only for a second. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I'm assuming these are Jonas's, like, inner demons. And this is, like, him trapped in his own mind, struggling with addiction and stuff. But the cause of this addiction is still unknown. Based on what's happening, I'm thinking that it might be um, from some sort of event that happened to him and now he's struggling to forgive himself and get over it. At least that's what I'm picking up from all this, like guilt and anger and sadness. Aren't you scared? <laughs> Chill out, werewolf dude! Your life is meaningless, empty. You killed your brother, your mother, your marriage, and your mind. Now it's your turn. Aren't you scared? Well. See? More evidence to what I'm saying. Something has happened to this man. Good talk, buddy. Sigh. Nothing matters anymore. Getting up is a chore. I have nothing to look forward to. She's already given up on me, and I gave up on myself long ago. This one looks tall enough. Well, guess he's representing suicidal thoughts or actions. Go that way. Huh. Whoa. What I really like is that this game has a really kind of open world, like, look to it. This is a game maker game, so that's like, really, it's not that hard to do. But at the same time, it is. As someone who practiced around with game maker for a while, um, it's really hard. <laughs> I hate this job. <sighs> I want to go home. They said I could go home today. They said that yesterday. <sighs> I, I think I'm finally alone. They stopped chasing me. They won't find me back here. No one will ever find me again. So why can I still hear them? I'm assuming the entire purpose of this game is to just find all the little guys and talk to them about what's going on, but I don't see anyone else. Aren't you scared? The little number that happens at the end of these text boxes, like right here, 4 out of 16. I'm assuming that's how many people I have to talk to, but I've only found 14 out of 16, and I don't know where the last one is. I don't know where else to look, dude. Oh, here's another area. Ha ha ha. Whoa. Ah. 
The worms, so warm in my belly. The only comfort I have left when I am empty. Problem? What problem? They need me more than I need them. Yeah, that's a pretty good accurate representation of addiction. There you are. You are the last one. We remember him. The guilt split us in two. It's your fault. No, it's your fault. You weren't paying attention. It was your job to watch him. Slip, thud, crack. Now he's gone. Because of you. Because of you. Because of me. I think that's everybody. Knock, knock. Who is there? Okay, I gotta go further up. Who's there? They are more familiar than you think. What the heck? Ah! Can we get a replay of that? But every time there's a thud, it's the law and order gavel. Please? Thank you. What the fuck? I am self-loathing. I am your years of hateful blame that have left me a mangled wretch. You do not deserve to leave this place. I am hopelessness. I am everything you gave up on. I am the lovers you left behind. I am the people you could have been. But now there's nothing left. There's nothing left but you. You must have hope. I, I am addiction. I am everything you used to forget. The alcohol, the drugs, even the porn. Everything you used to pretend to exist. Ha ha ha. What have you brought me this time? I am neuroticism. I am everything you tried to control. Everything that had to be. Perfect. All I see is chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. So many flames, too many flames. Only you can pl put the flames out, Jonas. You, 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 you. I am burdened. <sighs> Each day I work tirelessly, pretending my worthless existence means something. I carry your world on my shoulders. I'm so tired. Don't make me carry it all, Jonas. I am resignation. <laughs> you are SCP-096. I am every time you've given up, every sadness you couldn't bear, every time you have almost ended everything. I am being swept away. This can't be the end. I am regret. <laughs> Let me back in. I never meant to go. Open the door, Jonas. I am self-denial. I am every feeling you blocked out, every joy you denied yourself. I am more human than you will ever be. I am panic. Oh, God. No, no, no. I failed him. You failed me, and now we must pay. I am guilt, as am I. I watched the mistake you made over and over, and then I watch your brother die before my eyes, and I watch you do nothing, and I watch you do nothing, over and over, only you can decide to be whole again. I am reclusion. I am everything you ran from, every unpleasant thing shoved back inside. They can't climb my walls, can't find what I've stored in this shell, but you can. I am paranoia. There, do you see them? Every fabricated lie. They all swarm around my head ceaselessly. Why won't they leave me be? Make them leave, Jonas. I am suppression. I taste every feeling you've swallowed. I feel them clotting my throat. I can feel them burning my belly. I think I'm dying. You're killing me, Jonas. I am decay. I'm waiting for you, Jonas. Okay. That's cryptic. Please? What are you? You do not deserve to leave this place. Ah, it's my reflection. 
Ah! So, we finally meet. You finally mustered up the courage to crawl through your filthy mind and find me. You are pathetic. Don't you know what's going on here? Are you too stupid to figure it out? Or perhaps you don't want to. You must like squirming in the dark like a maggot. To have spent so much time in this place. My place. Don't you realize these are your thoughts, your memories, your guilt, and your obsessions. And they all hate you. They all hate you for what you've done. They keep you chained here to make you pay for the suffering they've endured. And that's not all, is it? Your brother is dead because of you. You let him die because you weren't watching. Soon your marriage will suffer the same fate. You flounder in your guilt and anger and let yourself rot. Every chance at a life worth living, gone. You're afraid to be alone with your thoughts, so you try to drown them. And what you don't realize, though, those voices that you've tried so hard to block will scream more and more loudly. Scream until your ears bleed. So just keep covering your ears, Jonas, because one day soon you might sink so deep you'll never hear anything again. No. Stop, stop it. Just shut up. I don't want to hear it anymore. You don't rule me. I don't have to live like this. I don't have to live like you. Whoa. Everything's gone. It's quiet. Who the fuck are you? Ho 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 ho! Good God. You are more terrifying than anything else I saw. Well, well, well. Can it be? It certainly has been some time. There's no need to be frightened, dear one. This place is safe and I'm not here to harm you. It's so good to see you again. How does it feel to be back amongst your thoughts? This place has changed much in time. As you can see, dear Jonas, the place has gone to the dogs. Ha ha ha. Do you remember how it was before the darkness? Do you remember how it used to be before your brother passed? You were oh so little and you used to visit us all the time. We were your best friends. Don't you see, Jonas? We are you. We loved you once, and we still do, but some of us are terribly confused and frightened. That phantom in the mirror who calls himself you has been keeping you from the truth with his vicious lies. Without you, this darkness, this darkness suffocates us. It has warped us into something you can hardly recognize, something monstrous. But we are still yours, dear Jonas. And we long for the light. That warm light that shone every day, back when you used to love us, back when you used to love you. What are you doing, Jonas? Why is it so dark? You know what you need to do. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself for what you've done and to forgive those that have hurt you. Only then can you live your life fully. Until then, we'll all remain here. <coughs> crying for the warmth of the light. Crying for the warmth of the light. Am I... Am I back home? It doesn't look as though anything has changed. The moon looks so beautiful tonight. Don't worry. I will try harder and I won't give up. You will all see the light again. Damn, so what I got from this is that Jonas was a really small kid when his brother died and I guess he was supposed to be watching him and he looked away for just a second and by the way they described it, his brother may have fallen from something and ended up hitting his head badly and dying and so he's lived all these years with like self-loathing and guilt and he's like pushed everyone away. Until now, when he got a, a rude awakening from his dark slash good thoughts. Either way, I think this was a, a cute little game. Not really cute, but y you get my point. It was a good game. It had like a good story. And I'm si I think it's what it's trying to say is that rather than linger over the grief of something, you should try to move past it and forgive yourself and forgive others that have hurt you along the way to recovering and that's a pretty good um, message in itself but it's also saying that like when it comes to things like addiction it's going to be a really hard fight but you can get over it with time and with uh, patience and with the support of others so I thought this was a pretty good game 
I liked it a lot. And um, I hope you all enjoyed watching this and learned something as touching and life-changing as I did. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.